A true disciple is beyond hope and fear. Part one of four on between master and disciples, given in English on August 29, 2008, in r o c k e b r u n g e t m a c t a n g France. Peace for Ukraine or Ukraine. You just arrived yesterday. yesterday. Where have you been? <laughs> You've been swallowed up by the kimchi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? Who cooked for who cooked for me today? Raise hand. This evening. Translation. You cook. Stand up. I don't see anybody. <laughs> uh, there's another one there hiding. I can't see the other one. I don't see the other one, the brown color. Oh, all the nuns, yeah. Evening, yeah. Thank you. I thought I saw some old woman, no? j u m p i n g j u m p j u m p no? That's, I don't know. No, not that. You are very young. Mm, okay. Thank you, huh? Thank you. Uh, it was uh, nice, but uh, you know, I heard the mosquito complain. Huh? <laughs> the mosquito say, "Master, why do you also have to eat kimchi? Everybody here eats kimchi already. <laughs> no different taste, you know." They refused my blood donation this evening. <laughs> They said we had enough of kimchi and and ginseng today already <laughs> from the Koreans, you know. <laughs> okay, very good. Like this, they don't stink me, huh? Don't don't stink. Uh. Okay, very good. I'm very sorry for you. I told you already. The old man has not come. <laughs> You know the old husband <laughs> with a lot of oil money <laughs> has not come yet. I don't have to be oil money. Any money would do, huh? <laughs> There was a, a husband and a wife. They were quarreling, huh? Quarreling. You know, fighting. You have translation? Good. Then please laugh, okay? <laughs> <laughs> They were quarreling with each other. And the wife said to the husband, "Oh, this cooler now, much cooler now, eh? Yeah, this window can also open a little. Is it open? Okay." So she was angry with him, and she said, "You know what? Uh, because my father left me a lot, a lot of money. I think that's why you marry me." So the husband said, "You're wrong. It's not like that. I would marry you no matter who left you money." <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell everybody that, huh? They think we just want money, money, money. <laughs> And what else do we want? <laughs> we have everything else already, right? Like uh, Nasrudin, remember the story? <coughs> oh, pardon. When the king asked him, "What would you choose between virtue and money?" He said, he "Choose money." <laughs> remember? Okay. And so the king would say, oh, "I would choose virtue, you know. Of course, it chooses what he doesn't have, huh? But don't know. Nothing special, okay? Candy. <laughs> And the kimchi, you know. You like kimchi? Nice, huh? Hmm. Never put ginseng in it. 
That's why you sit and you be <laughs> You want to sit still, but it's all inside. <laughs> Strong, no? <laughs> Actually, in Vietnam or in Taiwan, they say, don't give ginseng until, until the person is 60 something. Yeah. I'm almost there. <laughs> okay. Never mind. <laughs> But the years will count, you know? I'm almost there. I can drink ginseng every day. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the day I can eat ginseng, drink ginseng. <laughs> Become like the Koreans. I'm so strong. <laughs> How did you get your visa so quick? How many from South Africa? Oh. How come? What did you do now? Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, but every time I thought it was impossible for you to have a yeah. passport. My father is Italian and my mother was South mm. mm. What's the difference? Um, What's the difference if your father is Ita it's Italian and your mother is South African, or your mother is Italian and your father is South African? No difference, at least it's just a Italian passport. Yeah, you have? Yeah. I had the impression that it took you very long to get a visa. Four days, that's not long. No. Hmm. Welcome home. Another home. <laughs> again. <laughs> Welcome home again. <laughs> yeah. Right now, I think this is okay, huh? Small, but okay. Hmm. We just have to install some very powerful aircon. <laughs> then we are even more okay, huh? Or you wait until we have the yacht, yeah? And then we meditate in the middle of the ocean. It's okay too, right? It won't be too bad, huh? With the sea, you know, around you, huh? Mm. It feels like an island, huh? Mm. I told you many times we're lucky, hey? Mm. Because we could sit together, huh? Somewhere and meditate and... And I feel this may be very stable here, somehow, yeah. People say something like, in the beginning, if it's rough, then uh, uh, after it will be smooth. They say like that in South Africa as well. Hmm. But they also say, oh, whatever begins good will end good also. <laughs> they say anything, I don't know which one is what, but it, it feels okay here, huh? Yeah, as long as you keep quiet, okay? More quiet, huh? Go out in the front, don't talk too loud, okay? We don't want to show off who we are, no? Okay, especially when your tiara is invisible. <laughs> <laughs> huh? How, how are you going to prove it if it's invisible? <laughs> okay, now I tell you a story to also let you know how lucky we are, huh? Here comes. You know, in the old times, uh, when, when any master came down to earth, he always had to start anew, huh? Well, in the new time, it's the same, not just the old times. But let's talk about old times, because we know it more from history, yeah. Like Buddha also had problems with the opposite or other, the established order of religion. And Jesus, you know, had been crucified like that. And other religion leaders like Prophet Muhammad, yeah, we say peace be upon him, like the people of Islam, peace be upon you too. Mm. The Islamic people, when they see each other, they say peace be upon you. That's very nice, yeah. Uh, Salam alaikum. Huh? Salam alaikum? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that means peace be upon you? Wa alaikum salam. Huh? Salamu alaikum and then mu salam. Yeah. Salamu alaikum and mu alaikum salam. Okay. Means you return it. Yeah, like peace be upon you and peace be upon you too. Yeah. Sometimes I forget to say peace be upon the Prophet. Please don't blame me. <laughs> I have forgotten how to be a Muslim since I have not been there too long already. <laughs> And uh, peace be upon all of you anyway, yeah, on all the world. Let's hope so. Mm. And also sometimes they say, uh, may God bless you, or, you know, may God protect you. Very nice, nice greetings, huh? Yeah. 
very positive. I like it very much. Now, you see, uh, the, the Sikh gurus have also been persecuted. And the Prophet Muhammad, well, peace be upon him. Probably when he was alive, there wasn't much peace upon him. You see, they had been harassing him from place to place. And that was a terrible time for the Prophet and his followers. And even Buddha huh, had also been harassed uh, by the established religious uh, authorities. Yes, This happened everywhere. Uh, Jesus had been crucified because of established religious orders as well. I don't know why it's like that. I mean, the religious societies were supposed to teach the same like Jesus did, or Prophet Muhammad did at that time, or Buddha did, or Guru Nanak, or whoever the Prophet might have been. But uh, whenever they saw them preaching, you know, expounding the doctrine, uh, they, they just didn't like it. I don't understand how a religious person who preaches the same doctrine, yeah, uh, who professes also, that he is, uh, you know, um, believing in that God, one God, and who is repeating the same uh, teaching from ancient times. And the new uh, prophet or master comes, he does the same. Yeah, but I don't know why they always have to persecute the prophet. I don't understand this. Maybe because they have not realized what they are preaching. Yes, they keep saying, God's inside you, God's inside you, but they're looking outside <laughs> for God. And just like the guy who lost his key in the dark alley or garage and then went out under the lamp on the street to look for the key there because it's brighter there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, anyway. This is the working of this world that even though they proclaim that they're preaching the same thing, they have always been against any prophet who even not just preaches the truth, but can prove it to you. And perhaps they have not realized what they're talking about. They're just talking, yeah? Just like repeating the, the, the recipe for apple pie, yeah? But never making one and never knowing how. <laughs> Never tasting one, yes. So he's just reciting the recipe. So when somebody makes an apple pie and lets everybody else taste it, here is apple pie. No, no, it's not possible. <laughs> not possible. I have never seen an apple pie myself. I can only talk about the apple pie. So how can you say this is apple pie? Well, this is a problem. It's not only that. It's jealousy, huh? human competitiveness, thinking, what? And look at him. Eh? He looks like that. He doesn't even wear the religious uh, robe, you know, with the head uh, so high like this, and with the tassel coming down here, and he has to walk this way, that way. How come he doesn't wear anything like that? And so many people follow him. Sabapalatet. <laughs> <laughs> it means something wrong <laughs> with the head. And also, look at her, she doesn't look like anybody that we know, you know, the holy persons. How come everybody follows her? This must be something not good, you know? At least not good for them, <laughs> not good for their business, yes. Therefore, since ancient times, the prophet always suffers so much. So now, not only he suffers, his disciples also suffer, eh? You know that, right? Yes. Yeah, sometimes they persecute them uh, terribly. And here is one of the stories. So I just want to say that we are thanking <laughs> uh, whoever, uh, the government of this time at least, yeah? We have some freedom. It's just that uh, maybe we meditate more and the more people are vegan, then uh, the world will be uh, more peaceful and easier for spiritual practitioners. They will understand what we're doing, you know, uh, the, the mass, yeah? Right now, some understand, some still don't understand. So we just have to bear it until they all understand. Oh, at least they don't bother us, yeah? They leave us alone, and then we do what we do. 
until the day we leave this planet. Okay? <laughs>